Welcome to the review of Unit 12. Humans are mammals, and the chief defining characteristic of mammals is that their females produce milk for their offspring. For humans, some women produce uh, more milk than others, and some women struggle to produce any milk at all. Some, like Ms. Holmes, experience both situations while having their children. In the past, the inability to produce milk was often stigmatized, but mothers always found a way to get around this predicament. Stigmatize. Stigmatize. Predicament. Predicament. For example, milk from other mammals like cows, sheep, goats could be used in a pinch. Uh, but their milk was tailored to their species, so it doesn't, it doesn't actually provide full nutrition for babies in the long run. In a pinch. In a pinch. In the past, women would often find other women who have recently given birth to feed their children. Richer women, for example, would hire wet nurses to feed their children every day. Uh, now, the process of adding nutritious ingredients to animal milk uh, as a viable alternative goes back centuries, but the first commercialized formula uh, was invented in 1865. There are benefits to using formulas. Uh, for example, uh, they are more convenient and they are often more nutritious. However, one of the drawbacks to this is you don't get the same passing of antibodies from mother to child that you do with breast milk. And even if you have to use another parent uh, to feed your baby, this is still a more viable alternative if you want to avoid future problems such as allergic reactions. Now we spoke about being stigmatized. Um, is breast Breastfeeding babies stigmatized in your country? Uh, it's changing. Uh, it's changing now, um, and I think in general it's not a big deal. Um, it's it's we we know that it's a natural thing, um, but there are still some people who who act like it's an outrageous mm. thing to do in public. Um, I don't know why. I think maybe it's because there's this hangover from the Victorian period, where everybody was terrified about naked bodies and that kind mm. of thing. What about in your country? Yeah, I think in the U.S. It, it's, um, like you said, we know breastfeeding is a natural thing uh, that's been around since the humans were around. Um, but some people maybe have over-sexualized that, that act or maybe politicized that act. I don't know. Uh, but there's, there's a kind of group of people that really don't like that, and there's mm -hmm. an increasing number of women who say it's a natural and we shouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. What about weaning children in your country? Is there an age that people usually wean their children? To be honest, I have no idea. Um, I would assume it's between like one and two, oh. um, but I, I really don't know. I don't know about the specific age, but I did see a story uh, recently that was on YouTube, a story of a mother in England somewhere mm -hmm. who didn't wean her child until nine years old. Ween. Ween. That'll do it for Unit 12. We hope to see you guys in the next unit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.